Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to cover borders in Google Sheets. So first let's select a range, so I'm going to go from A1 to let's say C6. So I did that by clicking and holding shift down to C6. Now our border areas are in this section here in the sub menu, this visual men menu. And you can see as you hover over it, uh, you can see the borders appear. So click on that and then you are met with a range of types of borders that you can have or uh, where in your range you want your border I should say. So for example if you want all borders to be covered uh, you can click on this like so or if you want them to be taken away we can clear all borders. If you want just the outside of that range to be selected you can click on outer border. If you just want vertical lines to be selected you can click vertical lines. Now, you probably noticed here that I clicked outer border first and then vertical lines. That means the outer border has already stayed the same. So if you just wanted vertical lines only, you would have to go back to clear borders here and then click vertical lines. Okay, so let's clear that again. And if you just want everything on the inside of this range to be bordered but not the outside, you can click on inner borders. Okay, we can clear that. Or you can go the top border and you might want to select the bottom border. Now you can see if your top border is on row one, you won't actually see it in the sheet, but when it comes to print, it will be available for you. So let's clear that again. Now you can also change the color of your border. So to do that, you can go over to the right here and select border color. So on the right you can see the standard palette for Google Sheets and let's for example go a reddish color and let's do an outer border that's red. So you can see now that there's a, a small outer border here. Now perhaps that small outer border isn't clear enough or doesn't delineate uh, different sections of your sheet enough. So you can go here and you have three thickness sizes. So let's go for our full thickness and now that red border is turned to a lot thicker. Okay, let's go a bit color crazy now. Um, let's select a new color and let's go to green. And you can see that at that selected range has just changed to green. So that's a problem. So you've got to keep that in mind when you're making those changes. So let's turn that back to red. Okay, now let's click off that range again so it closes the border and we can reselect it. We can go back to the border again and now we can make some changes to the color without interfering with our previous color selection. So let's go with the green this time and let's do the inner borders and we can select that. We can see they're nice and thick. Um, maybe we don't want a big thick border here. Maybe we want something dashed. So let's do a small dash here and click that and you can see that there's changes here. So perhaps you want a vertical line between column A and B and you want that in a different color. So let's select that A and I'm going to drag down to B6 and I'm going to go back to my border and let's have a look at, let's choose a new color maybe a brightish purple to really have it stand out and we'll change our thickness to a middle thickness here and then we'll go to vertical lines, vertical borders only in the middle so that should do between A and B columns and there you have it. Okay, that wraps it up for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to continue with borders, but we're going to look at it at a style example. Uh, so we can use different types of borders and border weights to attract the eye to certain areas and highlight more important information than other information. I'll see you in the next tutorial.